everyone, welcome to another level pack called Travel. This is another creator who has used the fast travel teleportation mechanic, and now I'm playing it. So, we want to move into that. We want another block in there, so how do we do that? I think you just do this into this. This should be simple, right? Move into here, and there we go. So it'll be interesting to see another creator's uh, take on this concept. It was made by Hut Hut Hut, which has made levels for Bob as you in the past as well. Looks like we need to get this one out, but we also want to push it to the left. That is a clone. That's not good. Oh, this must be using the recursive trick. Hold on, this is going to hit the void, so I think this should be pushed up first. I want to keep that block available. Now we can get in. Push this out and switch the recursions. Okay, we, we need to actually cancel that, which is funny. Huh, we need to switch their ordering. Hold on. I thought this was going to be easier. Okay, here we go. We've switched them successfully now. Um, oh, shoot. How are we going to do that? We need to push again. Wait. Oh, that's um, that's not great. This is not the void. This is actually block... A block in a block. Okay, it's not very obvious to see, but these are walls. Okay, that's a little disappointing, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, we just get that out and go in. So, propeller. Now, here we have an actual void. Probably we come in from this angle. And we need to get in there without dying. Huh. So, if we do this, we can't access it anymore because it's in the void. So what is this? Propeller? Why is it called that? Huh. So I think I want to get those to the edge of the void, but there's... There's nothing there. I guess maybe here, and you can use that to transport between different blocks in the void. But is that really the best use of this? Hmm. Like you can maybe... Okay, well first of all, let's get this block out of here. Whoops. I don't think it's good to have that block in, but now with these, I'm not sure what to do with it. You can try something like that and have them eat each other, but I'm pretty sure that's not something that happens with void blocks. So I'm gonna switch this view. Yeah, you can't eat that, so it must be something different. Oh, hold on. Oh, I see it, I see it. it. Looks like we need to get all three blocks in here. Because... Well, first of all, get this off the... Off the panel. There's actually a secret... A mechanic you can do if the box is on is the box where the fast travel thing is on is occupied but now we've hit the edge and we can go in so here's a challenge level and okay this is a mess all I need to do is get in here oh but it's occupied why is it such a mess it's like it's like void control but not really it's called open mind so it's like it's some sort of epsilon challenge I don't know Funny how it seems like the... Oh, it doesn't disappear. It's actually there. It's just hard to see the fast travel icon. So why is this called Open Mind? Why does this level look so cursed? Well, I probably should check out Epsilon first, maybe, because that's like the thing here. Okay. So do we need to get this Epsilon out or not? I mean, it has locks, like the void locks, so it's probably not true, but yeah, it's so weird. Why is this level called Open Mind? There must be a trick. <sighs> like, there's Epsilon obviously available, but maybe there is another... No, there's not a hidden world in those fast travels, unfortunately. I mean, they give you so much that I'm honestly concerned that there might be something hidden in Double Epsilon. <laughs> like, come on. Sure. Why not? I mean, it's not like this has gone ridiculous enough, right? Who makes this kind of world anyway? Oh, and it gets eaten. Of course it does. Meaning that it would be better if we did this vertically. This kid, this level looks like a mess, honestly. You gotta admit it. And while I failed, now that just cycles over and over. Maybe put this in here? Nope. Nope. That was a... Okay. 
No. I can use this to teleport back in here. No, I can't. Ugh, there's still walls and blockers and stuff. I don't know. So if you look in the map, you can see that there is a four with an empty. I'm pretty sure that's the one with the epsilon assigned, although you can't see it. So there's a trick with that, probably. It's just... So I guess we have to get the Epsilon box. And yeah, this confirms that we're using the Epsilon box, I think. So do we use this to swap back into Riel? Ugh, no. Why does it eat that? Oh, right, because there's not enough blocks up there. Okay, so... Shoot, but that has Epsilon in it. Okay, um... Crap. I thought we would have enough blocks to do this, but this turns into Epsilon again, so no. Maybe I should have stacked walls on the on the left instead. I don't know. This seems like a safer spot for this anyway. And then we can bring in these other two blocks. This one will be the rescue one. Nope. Okay, so we want walls on this side and that side while we can eat this block. No, what? Oh my gosh. Freaking ep- Well, at least like on epsilon that block or something. So this is now just this normal fast travel block so we can go back inside and rescue that. Shoot. Okay, no, no, we're, we're fine, we're fine. So now we go in here, get that out. Okay, no. Shoot, how do we get back? We probably need to Epsilon another block in and then... Okay, and then take this out. Here, well, there's nothing more to do, so... Oh, shoot. We needed a... Pretty sure we needed an extra block inside here. Okay. Wait, this is... No, no, we're fine, we're fine. It's in... Well, we didn't get into Epsilon, so... Maybe we're not fine. I don't know. Oh, we can get into here. Right? This is fine. And then enter, and then go here, and then... No, that is not grab. How are we gonna get Epsilon when we need it? Hmm. It must be with one of the empty spaces, so I'm get... I guess I'm just wrong in which, which place it was, which is classic in standard for me. So we're gonna push these here instead. Nope. Oh my gosh, we didn't have enough for this wall. Come on. Okay, we put everything inside here. Um, hmm. It needs to be on this wall, right? So that we don't have problems. Both of these... Nope, hold on. Both of these are like this. But now... Okay. Hmm. I don't want to trigger Epsilon again. It's just... No, I think I misordered the yellow block and... And the and that block, the yellow block is fine to go to the right, but not these two, which require entry. Such as this. And now we go back in. Shoot, we wanted to make that not epsilon. So we do this, and then on epsilon the side. Oh, okay, this is fine. We just push this way. Go here. And then we got the Epsilon block. You know, it's kind of misleading that the void thing is now removed off of it. Kind of. But anyway, that was the solution. Pretty insane. Now we have a different section. This is a called B. Carry over. We got two different rooms. And a one by one. We're playing as a one by one. I'm sorry. Wait. Okay, we need to do this the other way. Like that, okay. Insight. What? So we, we, we can switch between these two. This is the... Vo okay, this is a void where we can put your wall on. But now you can't really go up there unless you, like, manage to eat or maybe swap your position. I don't know. can't swap a position, what do you do there, you right? I'm pretty sure we, like, managed to spit the block out. I just don't understand really how. 
No, actually, we don't have enough to, to really do that. Hmm. Okay. I also want to know what the fast travel is doing here. Like, it lets us get inside. That's not the best use of this mechanic. Especially when recursion is not available. Interesting is if you could get this. Well, it makes it honestly makes it feel like I have to possess the or maybe eat the white block. Okay, now I'm inside myself. Okay, this is quite cursed. Yeah, I'm here inside myself now. But I need the green block back if I if I want to do this anyway. Well, this still this still raises a lot of questions. Like, why would I want to do this in the first place? Like, it's because I it's it's because this doesn't. I don't know. It's because I couldn't make the other stuff work, so therefore this has has to work. I, I guess. I don't know. I just feel like maybe if I was recursed with myself, I could push this out. But I don't know. See, now I want to get into green, but that's not happening. Unless I void block it, which would ruin the, the positioning of the block. <sighs> Besides, pushing it out only, like, is something you do when you're already on the victory square, right? <sighs> okay, let's put it in here and then in green. Then we should have a... No, we don't have a two-way cycle recursion, unfortunately. But at least we're in here now, right? And then maybe there's something more to do. Like, with our newfound situation. Well, first of all, we probably want to act, be able to actually access the damn place, so... Something like that. Eat it, and then... Come in here. Still not great. Because we need to do something here, I think. I, I don't know. I really don't know what this puzzle is about. You go back in here, it's nothing, really. See, like, here? No, but I can't access myself or push the... Push the green out of here or something. Actually, pushing the green out of here would be successful, right? We just need to find a way to do it, which is insane. Pushing the green out of here. Yeah, as if that's a thing. I can't even eat the green out. Wait, maybe I can, though. Ugh. Oh, of course. <gasps> Oh my gosh, you can just do this. Oh my gosh. Yes, the green's out. Oh, that's so clever. What the hell is this? Okay, we got Epsilon Infinite. Epsilon is a block for some reason. I don't even know what you would... Yeah, we're in Flippy Zone, of course. But what does it mean for Epsilon to be a block? Does it just disappear? Uh, this is blocking the way to the fast travel point. So I'm going to have to cause Infinity to, to do that. So what am I missing? We, do, we need like a... Well, where's the other goal? Since finishing doesn't work. There must be another goal hidden somewhere, right? Okay, right, right, it's in, it's in myself. I need to get in myself and move. I can eat Epsilon. <laughs> like, okay. They look, they look like they're hinting towards blue being the Epsilon point. I guess I need to like have this swallow, but it still doesn't work because they're flipped. I can go in here. No, I can't. The, it's, an, it's not centered. Oh, I'm, I'm very confused on what this means. How I'm supposed to be able to use this to flip. Well, it would be nice to go in yourself, but that is not what's going on there. Um, I, I guess this could eat the infinity block. That doesn't seem good, though. I mean... Well, Infinity itself doesn't seem like it could move down either. It just does this. Pass travel block. Are you for anything? Wait, wait. Oh, oh my god. I'm just so stupid. Just flip it that way, like, in, like a normal person. Now, we still probably want this to come in here. Okay, now I don't know how Epsilon is going to work. But there's Infinity, at least. Okay, we, we got that out, but... Now we have a block blocking us. 
we I don't think we want that. I think it must be ugh, but but that also blocks it just as much. So unless we have a clone and we can come back, this is not working. I don't know why it's arranged like this. But I'm pretty sure we're gonna have problems getting our cell getting that out. Okay, what if you do it the normie way? Well, I mean, I just don't even know how you get the Epsilon app involved. No, this is just as locked. I think it's important to not forget you're supposed to eat yourself. I can't even click on the E. Like, what is going on there? Like, is the blocker just going to disappear? I don't know what that means. Oh yeah, flip it. I'm sure it'll become a three when I flip it. Why wasn't that a mechanic? <laughs> anyway. Okay, like, I don't even know what happens when I Epsilon, and I'm not sure if we can get the condition in to do so. I mean, maybe if we flip this, put it in itself, and then use a transfer, we could we could go here without problems. Okay, that seems better than before, and we can open this passage up and get the infinity out. That seems like progress, but who knows? We also note that the that we are stuck in uh, the I mean the blue is stuck here. Also, it needs a wall, but maybe maybe it's fine just for this to be a wall still. We can't. We still can't enter it this way. Eating that seems very bad, and we still want to enter ourselves, so I'm not sure how this helped. Unless we can have blocks that stack onto the onto that location. But eating isn't, isn't good. E eating has never been good. Okay, we've eaten infinity. Now we need to go down in order for that to work, which isn't... Which also seems like it's not a thing. We can push blocks off of the center, though, with the clone. Shouldn't forget that, though. Again, I'm pretty sure that going in here, doing that, yeah, it's just, it's gonna just get another block stuck, a different kind. I feel like something must have messed up in the transfer, but I don't know. What is this, by the way? Weird behavior. If you go to the right, you end up there? What is that? I mean, did it flip this or not? It would be nice if we could magically flip this blue block after it's already been there, but probably that's not what's happening, and... I don't know. We can push this out. Doesn't look like it, unfortunately. Well, I guess you can go here. You do this and eat that. And maybe if there's something at the top to, to move down that will work as a tunnel. I guess one of the questions is how do I take this out, right? Because... This seems to get stuck during the transfer, and I can't bring it out anywhere. Of course, I could do this, but that's not bringing it out. That just because because once it's eaten, it can't get back. I mean, let's say we blockade that somehow. Oh shoot! Then we need to get in. <sighs> Whatever. This is just for test the test the infinities anyway, so shouldn't matter. E, and then what happens? What? Why is it blocked? Is it just saying you can't go to Epsilon? I don't know. Okay, don't bother with the flip. And then switch the order? You still can't go in. Huh? I mean, you can do this, but there's no real transfer available here. I do notice that my situation doesn't really take advantage of flip. In fact, it's outright ignoring flip whenever possible, which seems a little unright. Okay, just stack some random garbage in here. I don't know what happened. Lol. Like, the alternative is that we eat the infinity. But no, I don't think that works. Unless the... Unless it's, like... Unless we manage to flip it so the entrance is the other way around. I actually didn't think of that. But I should have thought of that. Although, I mean, we're having trouble eating it, of course, because it will be treated as an enter instead. 
So like that could work, maybe? We'd still need to be in ourselves though, so like the outsides is gonna be infinity, right? Not to mention this doesn't work. This stuff's to get stuck. It doesn't work. Oh right, because uh the the outside is this wall and now. Oh shoot. Wait, I can I can just enter the clone and then oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. All I needed to do was just do that. Well, there's still a question about how we're gonna exit this place, but still, I don't know, maybe it, it has to be the real version or something, I don't know. It's like I had to eat infinity there. Here? No, it, hmm. it needs to be flipped anyway. Okay, let's just, let's come back in here. Try, well, I can't eat infinite, I can't eat that thing. Infinity is the only thing I can eat. It's like, why though? I need. I, I don't know. Guess I haven't used the epsilon block, but what does that even do again? Like now I can actually trigger it. I think. You just need to annoyingly move it, and it's probably gonna hit a wall or something. Although it's gonna be annoying if the trick to this level is a secret about the infinity block. I mean, I mean the epsilon block. Lull. No. I think the epsilon block just means that you can't go into epsilon. You can eat this though, that's interesting. And then it'll be out the correct way, it's just... Like... It just doesn't mean anything. Wait, maybe it does, hold on. Well, we need to move this out. Uh, how are we gonna do that? With the, with the block gone and stuff. Um, here? This is awkward, but it could work, yes. And... Well... Damn. Damn it, I don't know how to do this. Of course, we have this weird visual thing, like, what the hell is that? But... Just because we have the clone here doesn't mean anything. Unless, like, this can deposit into into the wind. I don't know, not like that. How did we get the... How do we get our, this recursive block flipped in the first place? Because that doesn't actually seem good. Is the order wrong or something? Like, it doesn't have to be in this order, right? It's just any three- all these three things just, like, work to create a block on this side. So, it could be any order, right? And so I could put the epsilon block there, which is like the least important, and then eat the clone. What the hell? Stop it. Okay, so I guess maybe it must be the whole- I don't know. Worst case scenario is I brute force the boxes that I choose, lol. So go this, eat that, now. I try to figure this out. Well that was garbage. Maybe help if the infinity wasn't fl This seems so much worse than last time. Because infinity is on a... I don't know. Can we go here or back into the clone to fix this issue? I mean, the other potential option, which is... I, I don't know. I don't know how true it is, but... The other option is that the flips aren't right. Well, no. Hold on. No. Down is the way we wish those to flip anyway. Nope. 
Like, maybe the infinity box is just not flipped or something, but... <sighs> I have no idea. Also, this is a move. For some reason. What the hell was that? Okay, it just ate myself and the cl whatever the hell that it was. I mean, I don't know. Let's just flip these for no good reason. I mean, isn't there still an issue with, well, I mean, a different one can be used to enter here now. Well, maybe if it wasn't flipped, that would work, but it is, so. I mean, they can now can exit there, which was kind of the point. I don't know. It's similar to what we already did in the first place, though. I thought this would work, but I guess... What the f what was that? Sometimes, sometimes things get real cursed. But okay, maybe these being flipped isn't a good idea. What the... Okay, some of the things that are happening here are beyond mortal understanding. Also, I don't know why I thought eating the clone would be good enough to, like, get the infinity to match here. Like, there's a reason I didn't do it the other way. Like, where, where I try to eat the real version, it's because eating the real, real version seems even harder than that. We would need to get our clone to come in, and I don't think that, was, that was, wasn't possible for a transfer to work. Maybe if it eats its... no. Okay, I'm gonna flip this and see what happens. Like, cause maybe it would allow- no. Well, I- hold on. It allows this, which eats it. I say finally, but obviously that's not great. I have come up with a cursed contraption where you eat this. And that does have an infinite exit. Is that a good thing? Who the hell knows? I don't think so. I mean, even just put the block there. And of course, you know, you can't get back. So, you know, classic. Cursed. Cursed. Like, where are you even coming out of here? Again. If I'm gonna do this trick, I should probably have the Epsilon block somewhere, though. So the Epsilon block can be used. <sighs> Again, as a reminder, I'm trying to eat the blue block this time. By having a blocker here. That? No. It always goes in the damn wrong direction. It's also not interacting with the infinity at all, which I guess is a good thing. <sighs> Wonderful. Didn't do anything. It'd be really cursed if we had to do this all with it inverted or something like that. Because I don't quite understand how the Flippy interacts with us, but it could be that's really relevant. <sighs> it doesn't work. Well, that is not flipped, so maybe I should have expected that. Wait, can't the... Oh my gosh, I can't... Can't I just escape out of the regular infinity? Oh my... I'm so... I am so stupid. What? I could have just escaped and, and returned the stuff back. That was the... That was the entire thing, and now I'm pretty sure it's just easy as hell. Okay, maybe not with Epsilon stuck to the wall, but still... I could have just brought this here, and then I could uh, do some garbage, whatever. It doesn't really matter to to block the to block the way. All this damn time. Well, wow, I, I'm I'm so bad. I am so bad. Okay, hold on. We we don't want anything to be eaten here, though. I'm not sure why it caused something to be eaten because it was hitting the edge, but we need to eat this. Right? Uh, um... Hold on. We, we want to eat this block. But... We can't do it in this state. So it's like, I wanna... Use the... I don't know how, okay? <laughs> Even with this, I don't know how. 
I, like, I must be bigger or something? I don't know. I thought it was blockading the path, but it's just gonna cause the that block to be eaten instead. It's gonna be, it's just gonna cause one of the three blocks in the in the side to be eaten instead. The only other idea I have is like some sort of transfer between these things or something. I don't know. Hold on, what if we actually did do that, but the location is different of the of the drop? So like here and then two blocks, right? Is that a thing? Maybe it, maybe it wasn't being dumb in that way after all. Maybe it was just like extremely hidden. Well, here and here. No, we need to eat it. That's just a transfer. It's just a normal transfer to do anything. I don't know. And we also need to exit out. Hold on. That doesn't do anything. <laughs> I thought this would do something and it doesn't. Like, I don't know, are we putting this in here and then getting the regular infinity out or something? Because this is just ridiculous. Also need to find a way to escape that, which isn't here right now. good. Well, we can escape this way, right? And that's fine. Yeah, okay. So we can get that out. But here is the problem. I'm pretty sure it doesn't result in anything good, and like, we're at the very edge of this now, so we just exit here, and we don't get to eat anything, because lol. You know, somehow I thought the freaking clone eating thing was gonna- what meant that this worked for Blue. For for the normal one, I mean, and now it's like it, it just doesn't work at all Like all that happens is some stupid cycle or something like that making this impossible I need to take a break. It's, holy crap. I have no idea what's going on with this level No, it actually hasn't it's a joke. I haven't actually taken three hours although it probably has lasted for about that long my memory or more. So I have this situation where I thought would work. It just eats it. It just eats it. I was thinking maybe this would count as a push and the push would deposit the this block into my inventory. I mean, my inventory, sure. But no, it just it just eats that instead. How disappointing. Alternatively you could put infinity at the wall, switch yourself and come back, and I don't think it does anything at all. Well, yes it does, but it, it doesn't face the right way. So, I've been looking at random stuff, I mean, all this stuff looks tempting. Uh, hold on, we would need to have switched that, hold on. That kind of stuff looks kind of tempting, if only we had a blocker there. So it really feels like something needs to be taking advantage of the clone instead of the cycle. I don't know, it's just a failure every time. Lol. This will never work because you go out of the... Yeah, I mean, come on. You're always going out of the real one, which means you're not eating it. It's just a fake. What if you put the infinity outside and the clone inside? First of all, the problem is the clone is the flippy one, not the infinity, I think. But... Well, okay, no, we don't- we don't even eat it, so, like, that's- that's another problem. Also, we'd be eating it in the- in the standard direction, the one that was a wall anyway. It does not flip anything. Although, maybe it's interesting that it is considered an infinite, so let me just do that now. Uh, then it also doesn't make use of the Epsilon block at all, which is another reason this is probably going to fail. I don't know. So... We switch around the flippiness of this and this. So this also force the flip within the normal block, though. Well, anyway. We're going in. 
I like how it takes a second to load in the, the void stuff. Well, great. That's just a wall, idiot. When I flip this, what do you want now? This is just not going well at all. Repeatedly. Okay, I'm sorry everyone for using a hint. This is not even really- I don't know if you can call it a hint, but here's- I just saw that they had the basically the creator of this level pack had a video, and all I saw was they put this block on the left wall. I thought it was impossible to eat it from there. But then, okay, I see that, well, you must put the blocks in somehow, so you do that, and you just eat it! What the hell? I thought it was good because this would always eat the clone, right? Why isn't this- I thought this was failing because every time I tried it would eat the clone. It's just, why? Is it because you, you try to eat the clone block and it fails or something? I would think that it would just eat the clone without any other things happening. Oh, hold on, I, I really need to think about the logic of this. Why? Why? Why is this special? That's like some ordering nonsense. Or Because oh, I don't know, maybe it's because it's trying to go into inf uh, into Epsilon, it's considered blocked. But then the eat propagates to the to the top instead. The Epsilon block is like... I hope it's not some esoteric nonsense about how the Epsilon block interacts. But anyway, we got this in now. We do have a bunch of stuff inside that we need probably to take care of. Like, we'll do this, and we're gonna- we have issues with cycling. But, I'm pretty sure we just- okay. We still have um, issues with that, but we at least got somewhere. So there is... Like, for me, the big bottleneck was this, so... It doesn't quite matter to me that... Hmm. Well... First of all, I can't happen to flip myself to, like, eat that winning block, right? So it'd be nice if, like, I could mess with the order of this if I understood what was happening. But we want to get in here and we want to stop this cycle. Hmm. Well, more freedom with the... with these blocks would be nice. Um, I, I feel like the... Epsilon being here is probably worse, and it should not be there. So, oh my gosh, stop. Dude, just do this instead. There. Flip. Let's go. I'm not sure this is working. Hold on. So, why not just flip ourselves again? Does it just do nothing in the context because everything is already flipped? This is it just gonna... No, it does work. Well, this work, this work in this sense. Okay, well, we got the push. Now just get in, right? Okay, there you go. <sighs> I had no idea it worked that way. I'm sorry. So we got this level called Banishment, which is taking advantage of a trick with fast. So this is the same level, by the way. Um, it also persists during undos, which is kind of a bug. But anyway, this is, and it, this is something that can happen with teleport. So you can see we're teleporting into the same space. Okay, we need to not hit that. But yeah, that is a basic banishment tutorial. It just isn't very obvious because I'm when I'm on the fast travel thing, I switch, but, it, but it's the same room. So it's not immediately obvious that a switch is happening, but the block disappeared because I was overlapping it. So I'm pretty sure they're basically canonizing this mechanic now because Z and X are the controls for undo and redo. So, I do this and it gets rid of the block. And it doesn't look like it's coming back. Oh, redo, <laughs> freaking redo. So yeah, that is, I might, I might re redo that just to show, but I'm pressing X, these are Z now, and then X. Because I guess it doesn't really show the the state where I've overlapped with this block as anything. But 
Jeez, maybe I can just explain this better. Z and X are controls for undo and redo. Banishment does not have strictly consistent pr properties with undo and redo. That's why a, a block can disappear when you overlap it, but then come back if you redo. Uh, no, it comes back when you undo, but redo ignores the locations, I think. So the last level in the pack is mimicking the first level. This is another area where the void is like sitting here um, as, as a wall. So that's all there is. It's called Quantum Trap and apparently is a challenge level. So... Huh. How is this different? We, we got one extra thing up there. There's, I wonder if there's a level where scrolling through the fast travels causes a problem. Okay, so... Huh. So what happens if I go here, try to go in this slot, it disappears, I can undo it, no, okay, now I redo it, and what happens? Okay, I think I'm just like ignored in that spot where I would be otherwise occupied. Yeah, like, the, the other spot is just completely ignored there. However, you'll notice that these things are still in the world. None of these are actually deleted. That's why the special term banish was coined, because it's, it's like trying to explain that the block is not really destroyed. However, we, we still need to get that out. Okay, maybe we need to get that in. Like, we need to get inside this block and do stuff. It's just really strange. Like, like, we need to get in and imitate our pushing, perhaps? Hmm... So we'd be in, like, limbo if we went over here. Okay, well, probably should've... I don't know. We can return that, redo, and then we'll get in that block. Well, that's not so great because it's already considered as moved in here. Like, we already considered it to have moved back. Hmm. Like, the undos include the... Huh. There's some trick with this, probably, where you are inside the block, but somehow the block has moved despite your undoing nonsense and shenanigans. Hmm. There's also resets, by the way. Resets might also be another way to, like, to, to trick the banishing. By the way, the, the whole resetting and undos and redos being part of this is a sign that this mechanic is going to get lost to the ether with an update or something. Because it's not quite consistent with what undos and redos should be. Oh, wait, hold on. I, I got to this slot, right? Hold on, wait. But there's, a, there's still a problem because... Okay, so here's the idea. You can go here, you can fast travel onto this location. Now you can do the undo redo trick. So make it appear again. And now you're in this spot, but you're stuck in the in that side. So we need to fix that somehow. Do we fast travel onto the other location and then do something with undos? Because you can undo restarts, blah 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 blah, of course. I don't know how we're supposed to... Okay, let's do un some undos and stuff. Redo, redo, redo. <laughs> See, it made a lot of sense, you know? It, we just... We just undid and redid until the green block wasn't on the space anymore. <laughs> And we could just exit. Made a lot of sense, didn't it? Oh, this mechanic's so getting removed. <laughs> anyway, I gotta say the level pack was a little bit more exploity, buggy kind of, uh, the kind of thing that it's going for. And I, I really think that Insight is probably the coolest vanilla one because it doesn't involve any secretive nonsense. It's just a cool mechanic. I mean, just a cool interaction and and it could be in a in the other teleport pack, which was more standard. And colonoscopy was really quite cool, even though it was using this kind of priority thing, which I don't quite understand why it worked. 
And even Quantum Trap was like trying to do a cool thing. Even though there's only three levels dedicated to the concept. There's another pack that's even smaller. There's like two levels called Banish. Um, which, which is why I didn't show it. I, I didn't think that my channel was specifically for short term, uh, short form content. There's probably more to be done with the Banish mechanic. Like, this is the pack I'm talking about, by the way. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Please engage and, and, and add one to the numbers on the screen that you can see right now. Thank you.